state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Growing only in Urfa shall go vegetable cures diseases. Erdogan instructs to turn the Hagia Sophia from a museum into a mosque. Russian Orthodox Church opposes attempts to change the status of Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. 400 people have been arrested in Turkey on charges of supporting Gulen. Number of coronavirus cases in Armenia grows by 428 in 24 hours. The vegetable harvest of Shalengo, which grows in Urfa, Western Armenia, resembles watermelon in appearance, melon inside, and tastes like cucumber started prematurely this year. Shalengo harvest is done at temperature above 45 degrees. In Urfa and other regions of Western Armenia, unripe vegetables are used in the treatment of skin rashes. Shalengo reduces the percentage of sugar in blood and cleanses the blood of toxins. This very delicate vegetable must be sold immediately after being torn from the branch Otherwise, it will be damaged very soon and will lose its taste. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has ordered to turn famous Byzantine Cathedral of St. Sophia in Constantinople into a mosque, depriving it of its museum status. The once famous Christian Cathedral was granted museum status by Turkish government in 1934. Namaz will be offered in Hagia Sophia and it is only the decision of our holy people, Erdogan mentioned. According to him, there will be Quran readings in Hagia Sophia and it will open its doors to tourists as a mosque. The Russian Orthodox Church official hopes that the current museum status of Hagia Sophia Cathedral will not be changed and the church will not turn into a mosque. The website of the Orthodox Church informs about this. Any attempts to change the museum status of Hagia Sophia Cathedral will lead to changing and violating fragile interconfessional balances existing today, the head of the Department of External Church Relations of the Moscow Patriarchate mentioned. He added that he hopes that this church would remain a museum with open access and such incidents would not provoke inter religious tensions. More than 400 people have been arrested in Turkey, including soldiers currently serving in the army. The persecutor's office claims that they support opposition leader Fethullah Gülen, who, according to Ankara, tried to stage a coup in the country in 2016. Gülen, who lives in the United States, categorically denies this accusation, and Washington rejects Ankara's demand to extradite him. The investigation of the case has been going on for four years. The number of detainees has already exceeded 80,000. A number of foreign organizations claim that President Erdogan is using it to silence opponents and strengthen his position. 428 new coronavirus cases have been recorded in Armenia in the past 24 hours, National Center for Disease Control and Prevention reports. According to it, 5,226 people have recovered. Currently, 8,573 are getting treatment. The total death toll reached 227, and another 77 patients died from other diseases. In a day, 30 people have died.